よーみんな、久しぶりです。ありです。今日のビデオは、白っかで友達作りました。楽しみください。じゃあ、始めよう !What's going on, guys? あり、え、thanks for saying for another Japanese intro. Whoa. That is downstairs, don't mind in the mind noise. I hope it's not coming through. うるせえ、父ちゃん Sorry, guys. So, uh, yeah. I memorized that Japanese phrase from Google Translate. Yeah, thank you. Didn't fuck it up, did I? <laughs> Man, I was. And then look, look. I'm wearing a hat the right way around for the first time in. This is probably the second video with my hat. No, the third? The third? Second or third? I'm meant to be the one who's uploading these on the YouTuber, right? Wow. Aww. So, today's video is going to be about. If you didn't catch my. Pretty much flawless Japanese right there、um, about making friends in Shiraoka. So, I'm going to specifically talk about、um, the two friends that I met、um, on my first day in Shiraoka. And、uh, these people kind of were my first kind of interactions in Japan. And so, I was shown you know, great kindness from them both. And I just want to talk about it a little bit because you know, I never had that kind of kindness shown to me before. Um, but then in Japan, you kind of expect it, right? Because it's Japan and it's kind of part and parcel of you know, being Japanese and being in that country. But、um, yeah, let's get into this. So, leading on from my last video where I spoke about moving to Shiroka,、um, this video is going to be about what happened prior to my moving to my apartment, so the journey to, because this is where I met the two people in question、um, Tomoe san and、uh, Shinji san. So, Tomoe san was. Actually, the first person I spoke to in Japan who is Japanese. That's kind of not true because I spoke to, obviously, I know, so you might say, uh, Eki, what's the car? Toy, what's the car? But I mean, first kind of meaningful, excuse me, where the fuck is my apartment? Can you help me? I'm lost. It didn't take me long to kind of get flustered and a bit like stressed, like, okay, I've been traveling for how many hours and I've got all the heavy stuff in my backpack and I'm tired and it's hot and it's hot. And it's hot, you know, so that was this was summer. I said summer, it's spring, not it's spring, but it's fucking hot, guys. So here's your boy thinking, okay, okay, I've got like written down paper, Google Translate, Google Translate, to go,、um, Google Maps directions to my place. It's like, okay, you expect me to know where I'm going? Your boy's just walk- walking, I'm walking just along the street, I'm hoping, which has magically opened the path to my apartment because I've no idea where I'm going. And I take a break because I'm sweating and it's hot. I'm sweating. And、uh, Tomoe san comes up to me. You know, this lady in a mask, right? And,、uh, you know, carrying a little baby, like in a front kind of,、um, kind of carry. You know, she wears like a little, it's like a little, it's kind of, it's like, oh, kangaroo pouch, thing my jiggy, you know, the things that you put babies in and you wrap around shoulders.、Um, she could kind of read, like, not read my mind, or just, She could sense that something was up. She thought she goes up to me. In perfect English, she said to me, Is,、uh, is something wrong? Are you okay? And I said, You know,、uh, no, I'm actually looking for my apartment.、Um, could you possibly help me? She, re- she said, Like, she actually said, Okay,、um, where's the you know, address? So I showed her. And then she ended up keying in the address onto her iPhone's GPS. And We ended up walking. She took me essentially what? 95% of the way. You don't expect that. Like, I didn't expect that. I mean, you know, I just thought, well, I'm going to be going around in circles for a good five, six hours to, to kind of take the time out, you know, of her own time. She's got better things to do, you know, important things to do. Just look after a baby. You know, she has errands from whatever it is. She doesn't have to stop and ask after me. But she did. And so. We ended up walking to more or less walking to near enough my place. So, walking to the place, so I'm just following the lady, I have no idea where I'm going. She even offered to what she took one of my bags, like my my、uh, big suitcase with my stuff in it. And I'm like, Come on, come on, lady, listen, lady, come you got a baby to look after, look after yourself, it's fine. I appreciate so much your kindness right now, but you don't have to, you know, I'm a man, I'm a man, so, so anyway. We ended up finding out during our brief chit chat.、Um, we you know, 
we both like, or that I found out that she likes anime and that she found out that I like anime. And that was a really kind of plus point because we talked about um, anime and we found out we like the same anime, Slam Dunk. Fucking amazing, check it out. And, uh, you know, we found out that we're kind of sporty. I mean, I say I'm sporty. Uh, I like playing FIFA. But she's on a basketball, yeah, basketball team, that's right. Um, women's, of course. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know why I had to make that really obvious. Anyway, so, and we exchange a line, um, and so we keep in contact, you know, like kind of like pen pals, that mates. So, effectively, I could have said at the time she was my first friend. Effectively. Um, anyway, you know, I never saw her face. She's covering like wearing a mask, you know, like one of those kind of surgical ones that Japanese people wear to kind of ward off the illnesses or anything like that. Looks a bit like, you know, Kakashi from Naruto, a bit like Kakashi from Naruto. Obviously, she's not a man. But, you know, I've never seen her face. Even now, like, I don't know what she looks like under the mask. I assume very pretty, but what do I have to know? You know? So, uh, yeah, a little narrative reference for you guys there. Um, so, of course, yeah, I appreciated her kindness and helping me out. And uh, so that was the first thing. See, here's the thing, guys. She took me part of the way, right? She's like, okay, just just go straight. Straight on. And it should be should be there. Taking a word for it, okay, go straight on. It shouldn't be any, it shouldn't be hard. Straight is straight, you know. Like, uh, no one can fuck that up, right? Wrong. I fucked it up, guys. Like, I ended up, I think I walked past my place and then I walked back. And I was like, uh, okay, what do I do? Literally, I went around the fucking circle. I take out my uh, written directions, right, to get to my place. And, uh, you know, having no grasp of Japanese at this point and having no kind of grasp of area codes or even having a good image quality because down the printer was really bad when I'm giving the copy from. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I just kind of take a chance and uh, I see this guy walking up from the general direction I think my apartment is in. And I go up to him and I'm like, Ano, sumimasen. Ano, kore no basho wa doko desu ka? Which means, uh, excuse me, um, where is this address? So this is Shinji-san, by the way, Shinji-san, um, who I kept in contact with for a long time prior to my move to Osaka, um, who I've not kept in contact with since. Actually, that's really bad. Um, so he was having a having a, having a some cigarette and having a drink. Like <laughs> this this guy, like it was what what not even maybe like early afternoon. Like, Damn, this guy, this guy, you know. He's having a ciggy and having a drink. Like, you don't give two fucks. Or three fucks. Or you don't give any fucks. You know? So, he's like, oh, uh, mm, chitter, uh, you know, so that, come, come with me. Um, he, I know, come with me. And so, I come with him. And, turns out, he takes me to the place, you know, to the apartment. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I, I'm two, two floors above you. So, we ended up being, we're neighbors. I was like, what? That's, that's like, that's so cool. And so I thought, okay, great. You know, that's so kind of him. He helped me, you know. I mean, God knows what he was doing. Probably looking to get drunk and, you know, wallow in cigarette smoke. But I just thought it was really kind of him to kind of, you know, take me to my place. Like, he even took me to the actual right door. He said, okay, you know, I opened the open door. I said, yeah, I know, I think. Uh, can, can you show me? And so, you know, he showed me. And then we went inside. Like, I thought, okay. So as far as that, that's enough. Like, that's more than enough. He was more than, you know, kind to me to even go this far. And so, takes me inside. He's like, okay, tells me where everything is. Like, this is the gas, it's electric. Um, you know, do you need do you need anything? Are you okay? Wi-Fi or food? I was like, oh, no, no, I'm fine. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll be okay for like the next couple of days, maybe a week or so. I saw myself out, but I appreciate it. But then he he actually said, oh, no, no, that won't do. Obviously, it's all in Japanese. I'm not, I can't even really, really reenact what he said. But, you know, he told me, um, okay, you haven't got Wi-Fi, then share mine. And so we went up to his place. I took down his code for his Wi-Fi. And then I ended up using that, what, maybe two, three weeks, maybe a month in. And uh, that was amazing. That was free Wi-Fi. Secondly, out of nowhere, like, out of nowhere, um, the gas electric man comes in, okay? He's like, knock, knock. Uh, 
thinking all. I was like, oh shit, because I ain't got a fucking clue how to, you know, converse with a man in Japanese about electric bills and gas and water. So, uh, at this point, <laughs> the gas man could see this, because obviously I was kind of panicky and like, oh, oh no, chotto matte kudasai. Ah, Shinji san, don't And uh, Shinji san actually stayed with me and he, tr- he translated as best he could um, to help me understand. And uh, the gas man was like, to Shinji san, he said to him, Onegaishimasu, senpai. And senpai means uh, like elder, elder, elder? If it's just elder. I guess if it's a girl, it's like your older sister. If it's a guy, it's elder brother. It's if you're the kohai, which I was, which is the younger kind of person, the senpai is the one who look after you. You know, and in that sense, yeah, I would agree. Shinji-san, while he was like about 50 odd years old, he was my senpai. Um, you know, I, I relied on him a lot and he really came through for me. Um, but that's another thing, okay? So those two things, he helped me with my internet, helped me with my gas bill and water. But here's the really big thing, guys. He's like, okay, look, you're good for that and you're good for that. Are you good for food? What about money? What about drink? What about like anemone? Is you okay? I was like, ah. I'll figure it out. Like, I didn't want to ask any more of him, but here's the thing, guys, here's the clincher. Junji san was like, no, 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 that ain't gonna do, buddy. You know, so he's like, uh, Iko? I was like, hey, doko? He's like, uh, super, so which is supermarket. And I was like, nande? He's like, you know, we're gonna get you some food, we're gonna get you some drink, we're gonna get you some stuff for your place. I was like, Junji san, no, really, I can do it. I mean, you've done enough, please, you know. I really appreciate but you must have your own things to do right now, it's getting kind of late. He said, no, no, he literally, he t- ended up taking me, he's like, come on, let's go. Went in his car, drove around, what, maybe two or three supermarkets, went to a kind of appliance store, and um, he helped me pick out all the food, and, like, getting myself a, uh, what's it called in English, a uh, iron, iron. We drove back, maybe like, what, we took an hour and a half, two hours. I didn't expect him to kind of do all this and I was like look please can I can I pay you back what can I do you know I can't say anything but thank you very much to you and he was like no, no don't worry about it then to top it all off and this is like <laughs> what I'm really grateful for um my previous job right my company who I was working with they found me the place they furnished it to the best that they could but they didn't give me a uh, futon you know a bed to sleep on like my bunk bed was literally just wood and so what did Shinji san do? Fucking goes to his place, takes out his spare futon, tells me here, yeah, use it as long as you need it. I was like really gobsmacked, like I've not been shown that much kindness. Like, you know, for someone to not expect anything but just to do a good deed because they want to do a good deed and then, you know, they feel that it's the normal thing to do. I didn't have any business to ask him, um, for any assistance not that I did but I just didn't know how to refuse and he was kind enough to give me his time and you know his help to get myself you know get me, get me off my feet get me side so you know for that I'll be forever grateful the kindness I was being shown was that of friends who would go out of their way to help you they don't even know you like, they don't even speak the same language not the same culture they don't have the same face, you know, like, come on. Going to a new country, going to a new city, going to a new, learning a new language, new job, all that stuff, right? All that malaki. You kind of get ripped into thinking, well, you'll be alone. This is going to be you, you by yourself. You're going to have to rely on yourself. Don't rely on anybody else because, you know, how, how can you? You are here, you know, this is your time to be independent and to be mature and to kind of, I don't know where I'm going with this, but you're given so much and then you have nothing really to give back apart from a thank you, which for them is still alright and still enough. Um, compared to, you know, UK style, you don't even get people helping you to kind of find a train station, which could just be a minute or two away. But over there, people kind of, oh, yeah, nothing to do with me, but let me just guide you to your place of residence. I just wanted to kind of vent my gratitude, just express my uh, gratitude and just kind of sh- to show you guys a little bit more about you know if you heard that this is what it's like in japan it is um don't expect oh my god message later um don't expect to kind of be out on your ass because at some point or maybe at no point it, you're going to get helped 
and uh, you're going to feel so thankful. Um, but yeah, that's just one um, story that I have um, of one such case. Um, I've got more to share with you. Um, sadly, I've got Shiro Hoka. So uh, yeah, please stick with me and uh, give this video a thumbs up and a like. That's a bit, no, move it down a little bit. There you go. That's, that's in sync, I think. And uh, I really appreciate your guys' views and comments. And uh, yeah, let's get this show on the road. No, let's do that again. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Arigatou gozaimashita. Mata ne.